Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter, Ali LaForce. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Clippers. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. And it's Rodman in at the four slot. Here's Griffin. Blocked! Doesn't have the biggest frame. But tons of effort from Rodman on that block shot. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Five on the clock. Ball from deep three-point land. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Chris Paul more than capable of striping it from distance, too, but he's a master of the mid-range. Harper passes to Jordan. Over Redick. Jordan with the bucket. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Now here's Paul. Pass to Griffin. Outside Paul. They swipe it. Pippen, the pass to Harper. Here's Pippen. Launches it. The shot, no good. Now here's Paul. Pass to Jordan. Soft touch off the glass. Jordan's size and power make him a real hard cover around the rim. Pippen, pass to Rodman. Shoots from 12. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Back to Barnes. Outside Paul. Got a piece of it. Outside for Redick. Four on the clock. And the Clippers hit again from deep. This is why you must play up on Redick because he's terrific at shooting off the pass. Pass to Harper. Now Jordan. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They'll pin that one on DeAndre Jordan. Shooting for the Bulls. Michael Jordan, two shots. He throws good. Jordan. We all know about Michael's offensive prowess, okay? But he's incredible defensively as well. He works hard at that end, and that's rare for a star. And he makes both free throws. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Pass to Jordan. Now here's Barnes. Outside Paul. Offensive rebound. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, Jordan is aggressive as a rebounder. He uses his massive body, athleticism, and long arms to wreak havoc on the glass. Here's Rodman. Inside. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got six. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Paul. And he's going for the lob. And Griffin slams it in. Well, the timing of Griffin, really superb in these situations. He has a great sense for when to leave the floor on these alley-oop jams. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. 
excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great positioning. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Reddick gets the bucket. Chris Paul so smart as a point guard. Any weaknesses in the defense, he's going to exploit. Chicago trailing here. Here's Pippen. No points yet. Shoots over Barnes. Oh, Jordan with the block. And they recover it. Six on the shot clock. Second chance shot. Here's Rodman. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Rodman's got his second basket of the night. Really good cut from Rodman there, being rewarded for working hard in that screen and roll action. Redick outside. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's Harper. Pass to Rodman. To the paint. Here's Jordan. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Now Los Angeles with it. Leading by five. Oh, wasted no time on that one. He's got six. Excellent concentration. Paul oh, not allowing the defense to dictate his shot selection. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Paul with it. Six points for him. Reddick left side. Wing shot on the way. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Ball's got eight. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Here's Pippen. No made baskets yet. Here's Harper. Oh, a special move before that shot. The defense has to be cognizant of Harper's jumper. He's a pretty reliable shooter from there. And here's Paul. Give him eight points now. It's Barnes on the wing. Back to Paul. Reddick on the wing. Outside Barnes. Pass to Jordan. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Bulls. Down low. Here's Pippen. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. And so it's Barnes with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Eight-point game. Reddick outside. And he's going for the oop here. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, you got to respect the athletic reach of Jordan now. Throw it up, and he will bash in the alley-oop. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. to Jordan. Shoots off the step back. That's his third basket in five shots. Solid work. I think Jordan could do this all day long. I mean, the mid-range area is a very comfortable area for him. Ball passes to Redick. Tipped away. Now Barnes. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Paul. Oh, he used the shot fake to create the angle, but he couldn't get it to fall. Here's Harper. Pass to Rodman. Over Griffin. Rodman, no good. The Clippers in the lead. 
Barnes finds Paul. Inside, Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Boy, somehow, some way, you got to keep Jordan away from the basket because if you allow him to get it there, he's flushing. Here's Harper. Here's Pippen. And he makes it. Pippen showing you nice agility that time, working around tough defense, able to play through that contact. Now here's Paul. Give him eight. He's got a clear path. Here's Jordan. And he lays it in off the breakaway. Jordan's got ten points. Yeah, Pippen, a fantastic defender and knows when to pounce on passing lanes to come up with the steals. Watch out. Now Paul. Outside Barnes. Paul taking his time here. Just five to shoot. Takes a three. Barnes, no good. Here's Pippen. Pass to Longley. And here's Jordan. Marked by Reddick. Jordan against Reddick. Here's Longley. Can't hit that one. Some solid defense from Jordan. Reddick finds Paul. Screen by Griffin. Paul with it. Here's Barnes. Rodman with a rebound. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. Pass to Pippen. Now Jordan. Marked by Reddick. Throws it up high. Hammers the lob through. Taking flight. Scotty Pippen throwing upstairs. Time called here. Time out, time Los out. Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Collison. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call. Here's Pippen. Pass to Kukoc. For three. Fires in the triple. And it's now only a one-point Clipper lead. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Kevin, you can understand the shot selection. I mean, he wanted to go back at him, and this came up short on the triple. Pass to Winnington. Here's Pippen. From seven. And Chicago again with a bucket. Scotty Pippen showing you nice touch inside close range. We've got 108 left in the first. And here's Griffin. They still need this. The bank shot, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Kukoc, the pass to Winnington. Count it. One for one to start the game. Outstanding decision from Kukoc, showing how versatile he is as a passer. Here's Crawford. Yet to see a basket. The three is up. Drops in the three. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Kukoc. There's a screen to the paint. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. 
Winnington. Great job getting the ball to Winnington inside. Seven feet, 245. That's a lot of bill to handle. down the first one you know what you like about Winnington is his embracing of the dirty work I mean you can rely on him to give you a really solid effort on every play at both ends Chris Paul he's checked in for the Clippers and a change for the Bulls Jordan's checked in good on both making shots at the line you need a good routine and he certainly has one Here's Crawford. Four seconds left. Off with the layup. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. It's the Bulls leading by just two. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. On the court for Chicago. And it's Winnington in at the five. Here's Granger. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. Jordan, the pass to Kerr. And he lobs it up top. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, we've got liftoff. Jordan showing off that unmatched vertical leap to go up and throw down the alley-oop. Nicely done. Here's Crawford. The kick out to Paul. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, that was a savvy move by the veteran Paul, ensuring he gets fouled while taking that shot. First free throw is good. You know, Chris Paul has probably forgotten more about basketball than most of us know. He's an encyclopedia of knowledge for the game. Paul hits them both. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Jordan, the pass to Winnington. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Aggressive defense against Winnington that time, but you know what? He didn't let it bother him at all and just stayed focused on the play. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Los Angeles. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? My goodness. And 
that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Outside Paul. There's the three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Chicago leading. Pass to Kerr. Here's Simpkins. Here's Wennington. Six points for him. Jordan, the pass to Simpkins. Shot clock at six. Two points. That one goes. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. Simpkins, one shot. Free throw, no good. And it's Paul with the ball for the Clippers. They trail by three. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. What a terrific finisher he is for an undersized player. Chris Paul doesn't let anything throw him off. At the line for one, Chris Paul. Chicago has possession. Here's Kukoc. It's stolen away. In transition, here come the Clippers. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Clippers. Jamal Crawford. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Chicago trailing here. Kerr, pass to Kukoc. Pass to Jordan. Here's Wellington, five to shoot. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Let's it go from deep. Kerr, no good. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability. And they showed it with that tight coverage. And down it goes. Two points. And now a five-point Clipper lead. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Kerr, pass to Kukoc. Pass to Kerr. To the wing on the left. Here's Kukoc to stop the run. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. There's something special about a big who can shoot like Kukoc. Really fun to watch. Here's Turkaloo. Here's Crawford, covered by Jordan. From the arc. Crawford, no good. And here's Jordan. He's got 12. A little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Here's Wennington. Pass to Kerr. From 12 feet. And Chicago again with a bucket. That's a heads up play by Kerr. Finding the open man and getting him the ball on time and on target. Well done. Here's Turkaloo. Here's the pick. From the top of the key, Chicago grabs the miss. Wennington's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Simpkins, out to the wing. Jordan, the pass to Simpkins. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And the Clippers have possession. 
They've led by as much as 10. And it's flushed down a nice jam. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Fellas, that's exactly why they look to get him the ball around the rim. I mean, it's either a dunk or free throws every time. And Chicago has possession. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Here's Kukoc. It's hauled in by the Clippers. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Let's go with a three. Pure from three-point range. And now it's a five-point Clipper lead. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. To the middle. Wellington passes to Simpkins. Here's Kerr. Still without a bucket. Pass to Kukoc. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Boy, I love to see that aggressive take by Tony Kukoc. I mean, pushing through the contact and using his length to finish inside. That's sweet. Now here's Paul. He's got 13. Here's Turkaloo. Right through the D for the layup. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Jordan inside. Rebounded by Turkaloo. The Clippers in the lead. And it's the Clippers on the break. Here's Crawford. Give him eight points now. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Here's Kukoc. Fires from deep. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Here's Crawford. Can't cash in the 10-footer. Jordan, the pass to Kukoc. Paul with the double. Here's Simpkins. Pass to Jordan. To the left side wing. And there's a pick. Uncovered. And again, it's Chicago. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Paul. 13 points in the game. Here's Dudley. Pass to Granger. Here's Paul. Softly drops in the floater. Paul's got 15. And Paul with the good touch on the floater. Guys, that's a difficult shot to make, that floater. But it's one of his many go-to shots. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Pippen, marked by Redick, shoots from the right block, and the shot is good off the backboard. Give him eight points now. And it's Paul with the ball for the Clippers. They've led by as much as ten. Let's it go from 14. Rodman with a rebound. 
Rodman's got four rebounds now. Chicago trailing here. Here's Harper. To the wing on the left. Six to shoot. Here's Rodman. And he bangs it home with one hand. With that off the charts vertical, Rodman gets up and throws it down easily. Screen by Griffin. Paul finds Barnes. Griffin outside. And Blake Griffin is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. They've got a shot at taking back the lead here. Yes, they do. Could be the opening they've been waiting for. Here's Pippen. Marked by Redick. That puts him in the lead. Pippen's got 10. And boy, has this been a competitive matchup thus far. Yeah, these teams have swapped leads seven times already. And we're not even in the second half. Now here's Paul. He's got 15. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive pass in the building. Pippen, pass to Harper. Here's Kukoc. He's got 13. Here's Pippen. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Crawford. He's got 11. Paul for three. And it's Chicago with a board. Rodman's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Pippen. And the Bulls tack on two more. Pippen wasting no time firing off that pass there. Now here's Paul. And he lobs it up to the rim. Now that's a textbook alley -oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. This actually almost makes it a little more special. Grace over power is how I would look at it. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Third team foul. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Paul. And Harper gets it to go. Harper's got his second basket. Now remember, Ron Harper is 6'6", and he's long. Huge for somebody that plays a lot of point guard. And that helps him operate down low, too. Here's Crawford. Rebounded by Pippen. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. And he gets it to go. He's eight of eleven now. Hey, it's simple. When Pippen is feeling it, keep getting him the ball. Outside Paul. Jordan the screen fires for three. Paul shot is off. And it's the Bulls' ball. They're on a 19-6 run. Here's Pippen, marked by Redick. From 11 feet away, again, the Bulls score. This is a shot Pippen is very comfortable with. He's extremely effective in the mid-range. Paul passes to Crawford. Let's it go from 11. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got his seventh assist here tonight. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. And you know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. Here's Kukoc. He's got 13. It's stolen by Barnes. Here's Redick. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. One shot.
Here's Pippen. 18 points for him. Pass to Rodman. One second left. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Bulls up two. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Chicago leading. Griffin is out there with DeAndre Jordan. Then there's Barnes. Then there's J.J. Redick. And it's Paul in at the point. That's Doc Rivers 5 as we get into the second half. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. You can almost feel the mindset he has. I mean, when the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Ah. So it's Chicago now. Pippen, pass to Harper. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. Oh, that's some pesky defense. Should have thought twice before attempting that pass. Good, on the bucket. That is a pretty fence. Defense did all they could there, but he just outwilled. Here's Pippen. Pass to Rodman. Here's Pippen. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Paul. Paul with a steal. It's Barnes on the wing. Griffin in the post. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Here's Pippen, marked by Redick. Pass to Rodman. That one rolls around and rims out. 
An opportunity now to retake the lead. Showing off their intensity these last few minutes. Right side, Paul. For the lead. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Jordan, the pass to Harper. Here's Rodman. To the inside. Tries it from the block. Here's Pippen. The Clippers grab the miss. Jordan's got seven rebounds in the game. Barnes finds Griffin. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Redick outside. From downtown, he buries it from three. Redick's got 12 points. And this is exactly how Redick makes his living. An incredible three-point shooter who shoots it quickly. Here's Jordan. Hands it from the wing. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Pass to Griffin. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got nine assists now tonight. The mid-range isn't usually one of Griffin's spots as a shooter, but when he's confident, he can knock it down. Here's Longley. No points so far. Jordan. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. J.J. Redick picks one up. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And he makes a first. Free throws good for Jordan. The Clippers in the lead. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Outside Barnes. Here's Griffin. Tries again. Pass to Paul. Kicks it out to Barnes. And a miss there on the triple. Barnes has gone one of five from the field. Now here's Jordan, marked by Redick. Uses the glass on the layup. Jordan's got six in the quarter. All too easy for Jordan. Just unfazed by anything the defense throws at him. He's got an answer. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Bulls. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pass to Harper. Here's Longley. Here's Pippen. He's guarded by Barnes. And DeAndre Jordan gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. They're at the limit already. That, to me, is just lazy defense. And so here is Chicago. They lead by one. Shot clock at five. Down low. Here's Jordan. And the bucket is good. Jordan's got 22. Not surprising at all to see Jordan piling up points, playing with a lot of determination and grit, and insisting on being aggressive looking for his shots. Paul passes to Reddick. Back to Paul. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. And he's going for the lob! And slam dunk by Jordan. Timeout, timeout. And Scottie Pippen, so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. And the Clippers call time here. 
And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Clippers trail. Outside Paul. It's Barnes on the wing. Griffin right side to win the drought. Kicks it out to Barnes. Clock at six. Pass to Reddick. Griffin with it. Sinks the tray. Griffin's got seven points. How about that? Reddick showing the same kind of accuracy on that pass as he has on his three-point shots, which is quite remarkable. That's how you drop a dime, though. And you look at how they've come out in the second half. It's almost like night and day. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Now here's Paul. 15 points in the game. And here's Reddick for three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. 15 points in the game. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Here's Longley. No points yet. Now Jordan. Here's Harper. Shoots over Griffin. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Jordan's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Up top, Paul. Pass to Reddick. Now here's Barnes. Here's Jordan. Left side, Paul. For the lead. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. So both teams changing it up here. Chicago leading. Here's Harper. Pass to Pippen. And here's Jordan. Marked by Reddick. Reddick brings the double. Jordan, the pass to Longley. That one's good for two. Longley's got his first points in this one. Great work collapsing the defense, then kicking it out. Outside Paul. Reddick with it. Oh, there's the alley. Here's Pippen. He's got 18. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Longley, covered by Jordan. Shoots over Reddick. Jordan misses. Here's Crawford. 13 points in the game. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Griffin passes to Paul. He shoots. And he hits the jump shot. Paul's got 17 points. Yeah, an underrated passer. Griffin wants to involve his teammates as much as he can. Here's Kukoc. He's got 13. Pass to Harper. And yep, it's good. He's got six. Nice touch on the floater by Harper. Provides so much for you night in and night out. Time, Time called here. Los Angeles decides to Start. talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak.
ball with it. He's got 17. Redick outside. Back to Paul. Just five on the clock. Pulls it from the top of the key. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. Always with good instincts on the glass. Griffin finding a way to impact this game. Harper passes to Kukoc. Redick against Jordan. Pass to Pippen. Oh, rejected by Jordan. Hey, you know he's around, and that's what he does. DeAndre Jordan throwing that shot out of there. Griffin passes to Paul. Now Redick. Griffin with it, covered by Jordan. And he lobs it up, and slam dunk by Jordan. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Pass to Pippen, and here's Jordan. Fires the three, knocks down the triple. Jordan's got 15 points here in the second half. Zero hesitation. Jordan showing complete confidence in his shooting ability. Outside Paul. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. Here's Pippen. He's got 18. Step back and fire. Yes, it's good. Pippen's got 20 points. You know, with his handles, he excels at tricking up the defense and getting the good looks he wants. Griffin outside from deep. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. And here's Reddick for three. And the three-pointer goes. Reddick's got nine points in the quarter. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Clippers? Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. The shooting's been great, but also how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. The Bulls making a switch here. Here's Pippen. 20 points for him. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc. It's hauled in by the Clippers. They've led by as much as 10. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. Yeah, just aggressive and effective, taking it right to the defense. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. Here's Pippen. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter, and Simpkins gets it to go. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Now here's Redick. He's covered closely. To the left wing. Pass to Granger. Six on the shot clock. The three. Turkaloo's shot is off. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's Kerr. No made baskets yet. Here's Pippen. And the Bulls tack on two more. Terrific dime from Kerr there. Finding his guys nicely. Redick outside. Pass to Crawford. Now here's Griffin. Lays it up and banks it in. Griffin's got 14 points now in the second half. Pulling no punches. Attacking the heart of that defense. We're at the end of the third quarter and we've still got a close one. 
Eighty. Clippers ahead. They lead by two. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Yeah, platinum level dime drop in there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And for Chicago, let's take a look. We've got Edwards, and it's Sally in at the four. Hall drives in. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Pass to Kerr, inside. And slam dunk by Jordan. There it is, right there in front of you. Jordan going to work and dunking it like only he can. Paul passes to Redick. Back to Paul. Here's Granger. Outside Paul. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Jordan, the pass to Kerr. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Jordan against Reddick. Stolen by Reddick. Edwards comes with a double team. Pass to Granger. The three. Drills it from deep. And the Clippers lead by three. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. The first one falls. Both free throws good for Jordan. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Pass to Turkaloo. This one for three. The kick out to Paul. They set the pick. Perfect. Right between the eyes on that one. Paul's got 19 points. You know, one of the things that makes Chris Paul such a terrific floor general is his ability to run the pick and roll. Whether he passes it or keeps it, he usually always makes the right decision. Here's Kukoc. The three is up. Here's Wennington. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. The seven-footer getting busy. Bill Wennington using that size to throw down the jam. Is Crawford. The rebound by Kukoc. Chicago trailing here. To the paint to take the lead. And he takes it up and lays it in. Bushler's got his first two points of the night. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. Timeout called. The Clippers.
Reddick. He's checked in for Los Angeles. And the Bulls also making a change. Harper's checked in. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. He seems pretty disappointed with the three-point shooting, telling his crew we have to start making more outside shots. I want to see more threes out there. Let's get aggressive. Coach is hoping some big production can make a splash for them. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Pass to Turkaloo. Redick on the wing. Turkaloo, the pass to Paul. Shot clock at five. Jacks up a three. And it's Chicago with the board. Here's Kukoc. And here's Jordan. Here's Kerr. Here's Harper. Pass to Jordan. Here's Wennington. No good from outside. The Clippers trail. Here's Granger. And the Clippers miss again. Chicago with the ball. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. Here's Harper. Here's Kerr. Pass to Harper. From behind the arc. Rebounded by Turkaloo. Redick on the wing. Back to Paul. Here's Turkaloo. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. There's Turkaloo's touch from deep. He can be lethal when he gets it going. Here's Kukoc. Knocks down the 18-footer. Pass to Granger. Paul with it. The craftiness of Paul really on display everywhere, but especially inside and forcing defenders to commit fouls on him. At the line for two, Chris Paul. That's good from Paul. Paul hits them both. So it's Chicago now. Here's Harper. Kerr, the pass to Jordan. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Reddick. To the middle. Chicago foul. Michael Jordan. Second personal foul. Second team foul. That free throw, no good. Yeah, 
And he sinks the second. Here's Harper. Pass to Kukoc. They set the screen. Here's Kerr. Here's Simpkins. Five to shoot. Here's Kukoc. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Crawford. Sinks it from distance. And the Clippers lead by six. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. Chalk up two there. Jordan's got 35. It's incredible the adjustments Jordan can make in tight corners. Just tremendous body control. Left side, Paul. Fades back. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Here's Kukoc. And there's a pick to the paint. Here's Simpkins. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second team foul. At the line for the Bulls. Dickie Simpkins. Two shots. This is the free throw. And the second free throw is good. Now here's Paul. Pass to Redick. Back to Paul. And here's Jordan to the inside. Who poked away. Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. And that's on the defense right there. Griffin is too good once he gets the positioning he wants. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Chicago trailing here. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. Here's Pippen. He's guarded by Barnes. And Harper gets it to go. A decent three-point shooter. I like Harper testing his range right there. Harper's gone four for six from the field. Now Paul. 
Outside Barnes. Pass to Reddick. Just five to shoot. Oh, Jordan with the block. Boy, much respect for the defense of Jordan. I mean, he gives oh, it. Oh, 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 it home. Oh, wow. First personal foul. Michael Jordan, Three MJ. Foul. It really doesn't get much better than this. Michael Jordan at the line for one. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. And it's Paul with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Right side Barnes. Here's the three. Rodman with a rebound. Rodman's got his sixth rebound on the night. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. Boy, what a ruthless, wicked dribble move that time by Jordan. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. Here's Paul following the bucket by the Bulls. <laughs> Beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Boy, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Michael Jordan using that strength of his to get into the defense to draw the foul on the way up. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Bulls. Well, not content to take what the defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. And, you know, the more they penetrated, the more they realized the defense wasn't able to stop them. So they just kept doing it. And both free throws good for Jordan. The Clippers trail. Outside Paul. Over to the left wing. Jordan with it. Fade away. Rebound by the Bulls. Rodman's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pippen, pass to Harper. Here's Rodman, pass to Pippen. Down low. Ooh, coming through again, shooting five for seven now. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. Now here's Paul. Outside Barnes. Jordan against Reddick. Shot clock at six. Oh, it's stolen. Here's Rodman. DeAndre Jordan. Fifth personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Scotty Pippen. At the line for two. First free throw is good. I think what you most appreciate about Pippen, at least I do, is his versatility. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds, he passes, and he defends at a really high level. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And their biggest problem so far, taking care of the ball. Yeah, they made some great plays, but way too many turnovers. Redick outside. Outside Barnes. From outside the arc. Rodman with a rebound. Here's Chicago now. They're on a 17-4 run. Pass to Jordan. Here's Rodman. Here's Harper. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Barnes. Harper misses. And here's Griffin. Outside Paul. Back to Griffin. The jump hook. And that's good. Off the glass that time. Griffin's got 22. 
You love the confidence Griffin shows in his offense. Big time basket. I mean, this has been a great game. Jordan misses. And the Clippers with the ball. Griffin passes to Paul. One forty-four left to play in the fourth. Going inside. Misses in close. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And the Clippers with the ball. After the basket by Chicago. Griffin on the wing. Tries a 10-footer. That one falls. Griffin's got eight points here in the quarter. He's been a number one option in this league. Griffin, no issues at all taking the most important shot and knocking it down. Pippen. And the three off target. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Griffin. Jordan high post. And here's Reddick. 4-3. Oh, he nails it! And he's brought them within two points now. It's been great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. They're down by four. 36 seconds left to play in the fourth. Side Paul. A quick shot there. It's off target. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been off ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. Free throw is good, and that puts him up five. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. Those are critical foul shots. Love to see him knock them down there. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. They trail by six. 29 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's a three from Paul. Longley with a rebound. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. Tough day so far. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Taking two shots. And he hits both free throws here, and it's an eight-point ball game. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Crawford. The three from Barnes. Count it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Mike Griffin, fifth personal foul. At the line for the Bulls. So the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. Boy, you get so much game from a guy like Ron Harper. Passing, scoring, defending, rebounding. He really is a guy who can do everything for his team. Here's Crawford. No good from outside. He got his defender off his feet with a pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. This one belongs to Chicago. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, 
This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.